Good evening. We begin tonight with an inside look, the dangers immigrants face as they journey to the United States. From injury to kidnapping and death, the risks increase in Reynosa. Channel 5's Valerie Gonzalez investigated and discovered cartels don't pose the only danger in Mexico. Immigrants know getting through the border can take almost as long as getting to it. It can take even longer if they're in Mexico illegally and get caught. The accounts we gathered show those wait times can be drastically altered by greed, corruption, and opportunity. The lure of the American dream drew a young Cuban, Yosiel Rodriguez Reyes. He was sailing toward Mexico. U.S. immigration policies were in flux. Dominicano. Asylum seekers like him were on Valley Bridges this summer. They were there because of the zero tolerance policy that went into effect in April. It threatened family separation and stiff federal penalties if immigrants crossed illegally, then sought asylum. Bridges got packed. CBP officers began telling immigrants to wait on the Mexican side of the bridge to request asylum. As early as June, Mexican immigration officers began to move immigrants in Mexico illegally off the bridges. They would take them to provisional detention facilities where they can hold them up to seven days. Then the immigrants would be moved to a longer term detention space where they can file paperwork to be allowed to be in Mexico. This was the fate awaiting Rodriguez if he got caught, and he did. He was taken off a bus. <laughs> Mexican immigration brought him to the provisional detention center located at the McAllen Reynosa International Bridge. They process immigrants here before they're taken to a long term detention center. That wasn't happening. It was in the basement where Rodriguez met Carlos and Germán. Carlos and his family arrived in Tamaulipas in July. They were separated and Carlos ended up here. Germán, like Rodriguez, was also taken off a bus before it entered Reynosa. He tells us a Mexican immigration officer questioned him. Detainees in the basement were not allowed visitors. They smuggled the phone in. Through it, we got a glimpse of their living conditions. It looked like this. They spent the majority of their time in this dormitory. Space was limited. They would sleep where they could, even the floor. The bathrooms and showers were open stalls with poorly maintained fixtures. There were no windows. During one phone call, we heard the voice of a child. They're not supposed to be there. Immigrants of all ages and those in Mexico illegally were mixed with those who had legal status. They were some of attorney Jennifer Harbury's clients. She's a human rights attorney who says legal status does not guarantee freedom in Mexico. And people started getting detained and deported, which was terrifying. Then, even if they did have a visa or permanent residency papers or were Mexican citizens, they were not allowed on the bridge at all. Carlos knew the reason for the long wait. If Rodriguez wanted to get out, it would come at a price. The Mexican immigration officers weren't choosy about how they accepted the bribe. Wire transfers and cold hard cash were fine by them. This is how the immigration officers in Reynosa see the immigrants, a business opportunity. So refugees are a hot commodity all through northern Mexico and also central and southern. All you have to do is grab them and it's, it's almost free money. Extortion reports in Mexico grow with the number of asylum seekers pouring into the country. To do it and it's a 
We spoke to the director for Mexico and Immigrants' Rights, Morgan Meyer. She's also part of a Citizens' Council that makes policy recommendations to Mexico's immigration office. Meyer said Mexico had 200,000 asylum claims last year, a 300 percent increase compared to years prior. It's a wave they're not prepared to address. There were technically only 15 refugee agents to process asylum claims throughout the country. It's still very, very low. Long waits at ports of entry, high volume of immigrants detained in Mexico, and a weak structure to handle asylum and visa requests from Mexico's immigration office created a hotbed for corruption in places like Reynosa. Immigrants like Rodriguez faced three options. Pay the extortion fee, wait it out, or escape. Rodriguez, Germán, and three others fled from detention January 7, 2019. Carlos stayed behind for his family. Rodriguez tells us immigration officers chased after the group. One nearly drowned. Border Patrol confirmed they had to take that immigrant to the hospital. Germán didn't make it to the other side. He was caught by Mexican immigration. Rodriguez is now at a U.S. detention center waiting to plead his asylum case before an immigration judge. The federal charge of illegal entry into the U.S. will show up in his record. This is the area where they jumped. Just across on the other side is a provisional detention facility. A source with the National Institute of Immigration from Mexico City confirmed to Channel 5 News the director was removed from his duties. The facility was shut down. Yosel continues in U.S. detention waiting his immigration proceedings. Germán and Carlos were transferred to a different detention facility a few weeks ago. Carlos and his family have since been reunited and are waiting to receive a humanitarian visa. They were separated for eight months. In Hidalgo, Valerie Gonzalez, Channel 5 News at 10.